All right, let's talk about the most annoying character in Doctor Who's history, Clara Oswald. Welcome. All right, so really quick video today. I'm just going to talk a little bit, rant a little bit about Clara Oswald. Now, there's two reasons why I haven't really done a video about Clara ever. And uh, the first re reason is because I think Billy Tracy has talked en enough about how we think of her in the Doctor Who community. And also because I just think she's way too boring to make a video about. But I saw this Facebook post, um, this picture that I just wanted to tear to shreds in front of you uh, right now. Um, so it's basically all these things that Clara supposedly has done uh, with these titles on the pictures. So the first one it says, helps the doctor after his regeneration. I don't remember that. I remember she panicked and screamed and made a fuss about it like a little girl. And she basically used the entire episode of Deep Breath just complaining about how Matt Smith was, was gone and that the doctor was now an old guy and not hot anymore. So helped him through his generation? I don't think so. All right, the next one it says uh, is, convinces the doctor to save Gallifrey to be a doctor. Again, how exactly did she do that? She gave him a hint. Well, she sort of, she sort of hinted at a solution. She didn't even say anything. She just looked at Matt and was like, you know what I'm talking about. And he was like, oh yeah, you're right. So really it was the doctor's idea that was just stuck in his head and he couldn't really get it out and she sort of helped him with that by hinting somewhat something and not even saying it so she did not save gallifrey in any sort of way or help do it we could discuss this for hours by the way be a doctor jumps in the doctor's time stream now this is a bit chaotic because obviously she did jump in the doctor's time stream but I think we've been through this before, haven't we? We know that Clara has no recollection of anything that happened inside the time stream because her personality was split into 1000 versions of herself and she remembers nothing of being these versions. So really what the Clara that we know did was nothing. The Clara we know just jumped in his time stream and ended up on the floor next to John Hurt and that was sort of it. All the other things she did was because of alternate versions of herself. So, how did she do anything? And then it says, was born to save the doctor. Now this, yes, this is true. Uh, but you realize how this is not a strong point for her character, right? This is actually what makes her so dull. This is why she doesn't have any character development. It's because she was just made to save the doctor. That was her entire point. And it also makes her life less valuable. Because if she was just born to save the doctor, then that's the point of her life. You realize what this means, right? This means that when she did save the doctor, afterwards will save the doctor, she would have no purpose anymore, whatsoever. You know what I mean? Like, that brings less value to her life. Is that really what you want to con convey when you're a Clara fangirl, really? So then it says, comforts the child doctor, being afraid is all right. Which, again, is a fucking stupid episode because it's a paradox. It's a paradox that was never really resolved because the doctor started to explore what that dream was all about because she had held him on his uh, leg when he was a child. But if she hadn't done that, he wouldn't have investigated. And the only reason why she did that was because he investigated. You see what I mean? It hurts my head, but it's definitely a paradox. Makes him choose the right TARDIS to begin with. We've sort of been through this with the whole time stream thing, so I'm just gonna jump that over. The Doctor gains a whole new regeneration cycle. His name is the Doctor, all the name he needs. Well, this was again one of those pointless plot holes. You really gonna tell me that an ordinary Earth girl just sort of convinces Gallifrey and all the Time Lords to just give him a new chance? Yeah, because my recollection of the classical series all only brings fond memories of the Time Lords. They are really a peace-loving population. Uh, of course they wouldn't give him another regeneration cycle just because she convinced them to. That's just fucking stupid. And it's a Moffat thing once again. It's just, it's dumb. And then there's the last one that says, helps him through his grief over the ponds. The doctor literally starts saving the world again thanks to her. Yeah, we could discuss this for a few hours. Uh, I would disagree. I would strongly disagree. Because sort of the premise of the show is that the doctor always, without his knowledge, ends up in situations where he has to save the world. 
that doesn't really change just because his companions were gone. You realize this, right? All right, so I just wanted to tear that picture to shreds. This is just one man's opinion, though. I could be totally wrong about all of this, but, you know, food for thought. So, thank you guys so much for watching this Doctor Who video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in about a month's time with another Doctor Who video. I'm sorry if this was a bit rambly, but uh, normally I have a script for these. Yeah, it's a shock, but normally I do, and I didn't this time. So, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in about a month's time. Alright, bye!